Today we're going to give you a brief introduction on how to download the regional downscaling data from the Florida Climate Institute website. Start off by going to floridaclimateinstitute.org, going to the Resources tab, then Datasets, then Regional Downscaling. This first page gives you general information on the datasets, including descriptions about each of the datasets available, variable descriptions, and citation information. To access the datasets, click on the Data Download tab. Then you'll need to fill out this short form so we can have a general idea about who is accessing the data and how often. If you've already signed in before, click this link to sign in with your previously used email. This is where you will actually access the data. The drop down list up top gives you all the current data sets available. The next set of boxes are the coordinates for the data you want to pull. The form will load to include all of the area you see in the graphic up top. This is a rather large area, so if you're not looking for the entire region, be sure to only select the coordinates for the area you're looking for. Next, you'll see a list of variables that are available for the data set you selected from the drop down menu. Depending on the data set and boundary box that you choose, you may only be able to select a couple of variables in years because of server limits. If you choose a data set that includes too much data for the server to handle, you will receive an error message and will need to go back and edit the form so that it does not exceed those limits. Here we will go back and edit the size of the boundary box to only cover the area that we are trying to look at and not the whole region. This will give you the data you selected in ASCII format. After the page finishes loading, you can select all the data and then copy it and paste it into the program of your choice. The next option that is available is through FTP. Clicking this button does not read the options you've selected from the form, but simply takes you to the full FTP directory listing for the data set you selected in the top drop down menu. Most times the name of the files describe the data that it includes and is usually by variable and then year. The next option available is binary and will download a file to your computer that includes the data set, boundary box, variables, and time that you selected in the form. Depending on the size of the data set you requested, server load, and the speed of your internet connection, the request can take some time. Please be patient and do not click back or on any other links until you see the file start to download. The final option available is to download the data set in NetCDF format. It will take the information from the form you submitted and pull the data from the different files on the server to compile a NetCDF file with only the parameters you want. You will need to remember about the limits on the server and might need to break your request into smaller pieces. To do this, simply select a smaller set of data from the form. When you go to the next page and the file starts to download, click on the back button of your browser and select the next area you want to cover. Here I'm showing you how to select the same geographical area and time frame, but adding two new variables each time. The same process can be done if you want to select the same variables, but want a bigger time range. To do this, just keep the same variables selected and adjust the time range to include the next set of years each time until you have all the data that you are looking for. Now that the second set of variables has started to download, I can go back again and select the third and final set of variables that I need for my research. Just a reminder that the hourly data will have a lot more data points than the daily data. If you select a certain time range and boundary box for hourly data, the return data set will be a lot larger than the daily data set of the same range. If you don't specifically need hourly data for your research, then select the daily data instead because it will allow a bigger time range and or more variables than hourly data.